guys, welcome back to the farm. Stun's farm, the best farm. We're back in Feed the Beast. Wait, sorry, Feed the World. And uh, we're working through the to-do list, working on tree breeding, and working on our pumpkin and our melon patch. So today we're going to plant those seeds for the pumpkins and the melons, get those juicy fruits swelling and growing and ripe and tender. And we'll also hit the tree breeding zone, check out what saplings we've got, and see if we're any, any closer to the desert acacia. So, let's go. Right, so let's take a look over here at the to-do list. Now we've got, oh, let's see. Strawberry and blueberry patch. Oh, that'll be so good. Um, melon and pumpkin patch. Oh, well, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer. We can get those planted this episode at least. Fish farm. Upgrade the apiaries, a brewery. Have a gin dig. Oh, that's important. That's really up there. Cherry farm. Apple orchard. Oh, it's night time, so I could take a few snoozes, actually, before the monsters come and invade. A milk facility and uh, an explore tree breeding and thorncraft and all these things I need to do. Now, there's one thing I need to do that's not on there, and that is, well, every farm, do you know what it needs, guys? It needs a dog. That's right, man's best friend, and that's what we're going to be going for this episode. But before we do that, I'm going to check out my trees, see if I've got any more, any more saplings for what I need to build next. And oh my god, oh, look at all those... Uh, all, all, every single one of those leaves is pollinated because look, this is the color that um, that those leaves are supposed to be naturally. The balsa woods over here, and it's a nice dark, rich green. But all the leaves over here are a kind of dark, t a kind of a, a pale teal, which means they have been pollinated. So I can get some saplings off of those. And once I've done that, I'll uh, I'll plant my melons and pumpkins, and then I'll go about finding my dog. So it's time for a bit of a sleep, and tomorrow morning. We'll engage in our adventures. And there we go, another great and glorious morning on the farm. Oh, it's so good to be alive and chilling out on Stin's super cool, chilling, Waymax ultra, ultra special fantastic farm. Right, so I've got one pumpkin in my pack. Now I put the melon somewhere. There's the melon. Now I think to get the seeds from these things, you just put them in the crafting bench. Oh, what? No! doesn't work with melons, but it does work with pumpkins, I think. Yep, there we go. Now, I've got eight pumpkin seeds already, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my minium stone. Where is it? Is it around here? Oh, no, I must have put it inside the uh, inside the store room, inside the storehouse. But what I'll do is I'll turn that pumpkin into a melon, get some more seeds, and then I can plant the melon and the pumpkin seeds into the pumpkin patch. Right, so here we go. The minium stone and the pumpkin make a melon. There we go. Perfect. And now what I'll probably have to do is put these melons down, bash them, and I should get, fingers crossed, melon slices along with melon seeds. So let's put one down for a dry run, see if we get what we want back from it. Okay, down it goes. Oh, look at that lush green. Those fantastic stripes. That's a really cool block. I can't wait to get some melons on the farm. Right, so I'm going to bash it now. And, fingers crossed, okay, right, so what did I get? I got three melon slices. Oh, man, that sucks. Where's the melon seeds? They're, they're nowhere to be seen. Oh, man, well, I'll put this dirt back. Now, I'm going to have to look into this. But before I do, I'm going to plant down the pumpkins. Now, how am I going to separate this farm? Let's go around to the entrance. Now, I'm going to get my hoe out from the, uh, from the tools chest, because some of that grass has regrown. Pesky grass, right? Now, is, is there a hoe? Oh, there isn't a hoe in here. Oh no! Well, I can get a hoe myself by going over to metals, and I'll make an iron hoe. I think just the two blocks should do it. Now the planks to sticks, the sticks to a shaft, and the iron ingots into a hoe. Oh, fantastic! Right, so I've got to look after this precious little melon that I've got right here. Now, how am I going to do this? I'm going to hoe the grass off of my melon patch. That's right, scutter off, you wily scum. Now, one of you guys said that you don't actually disturb hoed ground by walking over it anymore. Instead, the only way you actually disturb it is if you jump on it. And, well, that's kind of easy for me to do as a, as a human. I can just walk straight over it and not jump because, well, that's easy, just not pressing space. Well, actually, it is actually quite hard to not press space while, while you're walking in Minecraft. There's just that tendency in the back of your mind just to bash space and go nuts and hop around. But that's not the case for monsters and animals. Those suckers just like to bounce absolutely everywhere. Right, so how am I going to do this? Where am I going to put my pumpkins? And where am I going to put my melons? Now, I could separate them and have melons on top, pumpkins on the bottom. What do you think, guys? Does that sound good? Hmm. Now, or I could mix and match and have, like, melons here, pumpkins here, melons here, pumpkins here, and then melons and pumpkins separate down the bottom. 
which is going to look better. Now, I think the tiered approach is the better option. So I'm just going to put the pumpkin seeds down along this alleyway of dirt first. So where are the pumpkin seeds? There we go. Now, plonk, plonk, plonk. Oh, look at that lush little green, little green sprout, little green sprout of life. Oh, yeah, you're going to grow up big and strong, my friend. You're going to be a nice, big, orange, fleshy, fantastic pumpkin. Oh, yeah, and sweet, we've got just enough seeds to build this first strip of land. Now, I've got another idea. I'm going to go back to the crafting table and see if I can turn the melon slices themselves into melon seeds. Oh, yes, that's right. Right, melon melon seeds themselves come from melon slices. Okay. Right, so I can put this melon down here. Plonk. Bash it for the lovely, lovely melon slices. Oh, yeah, three. And now I'll just turn these into melon seeds, and already we can make our melon seed farm as well. Right, now I won't have enough to fill out the whole patch initially. I'll have to wait until these bad boys grow. But I'm definitely going to have enough melons and pumpkins in the end to start making melon slices, melon melon smoothies, pumpkin pie. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Right, so in go the melon seeds. Now I've got one more. You'll go there. And that is it. The melon seed and the melon farm patch completed. Hooray! Right, so what next? Let's take a look around. Now, I want to graft the trees, okay, to get the saplings. And to do that, I'm going to need grafters, of course. Now, I've prepared some earlier. Made some and plonked them in my weapons and tools chest. So let's just grab those. Oh, yeah, plenty of these suckers. Let's just get them out. Now, I'm going to have to go over and graft all the leaves. Not just some of them, but all of them. I might need some dirt to nerd pole up somewhere. So I'll take that. Plonk the, the rogue one back in there. Now, I can get rid of these feathers, I think, and put them in agriculture. And I'll get rid of this bucket as well, because that's really a tool. So in you go, my friend. And the shotgun too, because without ammo, it's a bit useless. And say goodbye to the iron hoe. Right, got my got my grafter out. Let's go and do some serious tree breeding. Right, now, as I've said, these things have been just pollinating for years now. And as you can see, like for this tree, the only leaves that have not been pollinated are these ones up at the corner in the middle here. Everything else has been pollinated, so I'm going to go nuts on these bad boys and get as many saplings as I can. But I'm going to start with the balsa saplings, and I'm going to try the balsa trees right at the top. So I'll just bash away out here. Nerd pole up, and just go nuts on these balsa trees and see if I can get any saplings from these bad boys. Okay, let's do it. All right, that's all the leaves. Oh, man, look at these trees. Oh, they look so sad. So sad and naked. Well, I can't just leave them here like this. I'm going to get my axe out and cut them down to size. But I'll have to be quick because I've only got like a few minutes before the saplings that I've kicked out of these trees despawn. Oh man, yeah, look at this nice, cool, creamy wood. Oh, this is a lovely texture and a lovely building material. Right, now let's run around and gather up these saplings and see what the spoils are. See what the fruits of my labor will be. Now, fingers crossed we'll get the new tree type. I can't remember what it's called, but I'm pretty sure I'll see it when I see it. Or know it when I see it. Silver lime. Balsa teak. Balsa teak. Balsa teak. Balsa... Desert acacia! Ah, oh, yes! And look, four of these mother truckers. Ah, oh, yeah. Fantastic. So what I'm going to do now is take out all of these logs. Clear out the tree breeding zone for phase two of Operation Grandidier's Baobab. Uh-oh, night falls, so I better get on with this logging work. Now, I feel like I was quite lucky to get those desert acacia because this seems like it's a really rare tree. And much like with some of the other trees, I had like a real hard time isolating and, and, and kind of getting the saplings that I need. But luckily, what I've got now is enough saplings to plant even the thick... Well, I haven't got quite got enough saplings to plant the thickest type of tree. If it's a 3x3 tree, I will need 9 saplings, and I'm quite a few away from that now. I still need 4 more. But, fingers crossed, this is only a 2x2 two two tree at best, and I can plant it using the saplings I've acquired. Out of my way, Porky. It's time, to, time for me to sleep, and then tomorrow morning, I can find myself a nice patch of land, put down some acacia saplings, and see exactly what this bad... Oi, oi. Stay out of it. Stay out of my room. I've got your number, boy. I'm watching you. No funny moves. Oh, oh, how could I be little piggy face? Oh, let me pinch your cheeks. Right, fantastic. Okay, so how many days does acacia have I got now? I've got five saplings. I didn't pick up any extra ones when I was knocking down the trees, but let's go out there and see which leaves have fallen down because we might be able to find, we might get lucky, we might find 
some more saplings. And if we find some more saplings, that means it won't be so hard to make the tree if we actually need nine saplings instead of, uh oh, contact. If we actually need nine saplings instead of four. Right, taking them out. So let's find a nice spot out of the way to see what this tree looks like and to graft its leaves so we can make some more saplings, make an orchard and also pollinate towards the next tree down the line. Now I'm going to need a bit of bone meal, which I've got in my chest over here. I have to plant this tree, so I'll just go and grab that quick. There we are, a couple of... Oh, wait, there's six bone meal here. Oh, that's even better. Right, just pop that egg back. Perfect. Right, so we need a nice flat patch of land to put down this desert acacia. Now, what is it going to look like? Now, one thing I'm worried about is desert acacia. That sounds like it's a desert tree. And does a desert tree need a desert biome? That is the critical question, isn't it? So I'm going to put this down and fingers crossed I can plant it, but it could be that I can't. Okay, let's try this. Bam! Oh, wow! I don't even need four saplings for this. I only need the one. And oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this kind of nice, cool, almost neon green. And the leaves as well there. Oh, whoa! Hang on a sec. Check this out. That is the flattest tree I've ever seen. That's crazy. All right, well, you know what it's time for, guys? It's grafting time. It's time to break this bad boy down into smaller saplings and to harvest its wood and see what those awesome planks look like. Oh, yeah, wow. Look at that green. That's like a, like a fleshy kind of a fruity pear, pear-colored green with a hint of blue. I can definitely detect a sense of teal within the grain. Oh, that's perfect. Right. Time to chop this baby down, let the saplings fall from the leaves, I'll gather up what I can, and ooh, well, I should make an orchard out of these. Actually, no, hang on a sec, let me go and check out our orchard field anyway, because I'm not even sure I've got enough orchards to put these trees in. Let's see, the last orchard I made was a balsa tree orchard. So, yeah, I don't see any new fields where I can put the desert acacia, oh, that sucks. Okay, well, we're going to have to build a space for this new desert acacia sapling. But before we do that, I will head over to the tree breeding zone and put down what we need for the next phase of the tree breeding program. And that is, I think, if memory serves, balsa and desert acacia. Now, neither of these trees have a lot of leaves, so I'm probably going to have to wait a long time before I get the right amount of saplings to make Grandidier's Baobab. But I think that's the next tree on the list, so I'm pretty excited about getting this bad boy up and running. Right, that's all the balsa planted. Now it's time to come up behind and put down the desert acacia. Okay, so I'll just plonk this down kind of randomly. And yeah, that's probably enough trees for us to get breeding and to create more saplings with. Right, so I'm just going to leave that to be. I'm going to put these trees back into the storehouse. And then I'm going to think about building uh, an orchard for us to put down the desert acacia saplings. Right, so the next phase in our journey, guys. Now, oh yeah, look at these. Now, these pumpkins and melons are growing fine. Look, look at those nice rich colours. That means they are well hydrated and they're growing strong. Now, we should see some fruits of our labour soon in the form of fruits of our labour. I don't know if pumpkins are vegetable or a fruit. Actually, if you do know, maybe you could tell me in the comments section. Because I'm fairly sure melon is a fruit, but I'm not sure if pumpkin is. But if it's not, if it's a vegetable, then fine. But we should see pumpkins and melons pretty soon. Take a look at this. Now, I'm going to wait with finding a dog, I think, because I've got just enough saplings now to make myself a desert acacia orchard. And next episode, we can look into finding ourselves a dog, building ourselves a dog house, and, uh, and oh yeah, getting man's best friend on our farm. But for the time being, it's time to plonk down some desert acacia saplings and make ourselves a desert acacia orchard. Oh yeah. Now where is this bad boy gonna go? Oh man, you know what? I'm running out of space and we're encroaching on the swamp over here. Oh yeah, look at this rude dude now. He clearly owns this swamp. So I don't want to get on the bad side of him, the wrong side of that dude. So where am I going to plonk my trees for the... Where am I going to put this orchard? Now these are the desert acacia saplings that I want to put down. And they require, I think, a pretty much a lot of space. There's a lot of, you know, the, 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 the leaves fan out when you put down these trees. So where am I going to put an orchard for these dudes? Well, there's probably space over there behind those myrtle ebony. So let's go and have a look at those and see if there's a place behind them. Oh yeah, you know what guys? This is the perfect patch of land right here. It's right next to the other trees and we're out of the way. We've got mahogany right here. We've got large chestnut trees over here. We've got walnut trees over there and the myrtle lemony in the back and we can plonk the desert acacia right here 
I'll get some cobblestone and some fence, and we can start to build our orchard and put down our trees. So with a spade in hand, I set about my task. Now we're a bit close quarters here, but I can still pack these trees in, because it seems it doesn't matter too much when leaves overlap a little at the edge of trees. So I set down some cobble and fence, but connected the field to the existing fences to make the area as big as possible. Then, with the acacias in place and bone mealed, I wanted to do one more thing to the orchards. I wanted to make it easier for people to get to and from the orchards. It seems a bit silly that we have all kinds of paths and bridges, but it's not ideal or optimal to take them. So I built this snazzy new walkway that would chase the riverbank and join up with the bridge we built already. So I used oak logs, oak planks, oak fence, and cobblestone to get this look. Now there's a lot of fences and wooden planks around this farm though, and one thing I've considered recently is replacing some of the old fences and wood we used with woods and fences from the newer trees that we're discovering every episode. I'd perhaps also like to see fences specific to each tree, bordering the orchard that holds it in. But here's the finished walkway in its full glory, complete with a fence so that you can't slip into the river and have an embarrassing accident. Okay guys, so that's been it for Feed the World. This episode we've got the Desert Acacia, another notch on our belt of tree breeding. And next episode, fingers crossed, we might get the Grand Didier's Baobab, the crowning jewel of tree breeding. That'd be pretty exciting. Also, we're going to definitely get Man's Best Friend next. Oh, hang on a sec. There's a pig on my roof. Hang on, I've got to deal with this joker. Right, there we go, seen him off. Okay, so next episode we'll definitely get in touch with man's best friend, we'll get back to nature, we'll build a dog house, and get our own... Oh, oh he's, he's jonesing, oh, he's, I think we scared him off, guys. And we'll definitely get a dog next episode. So I've been Stin, and this has been Feed the World, and I look forward to seeing you next time when we, uh, when we get a dog. Hit like and favorite and subscribe, and I'll see you for that next time. Take care.